What is good everybody today? We are back with a brand new WWE action figure box set review and it is on the brand new WWE Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite 5 pack of the LWO. Cruz Del Toro, Rey Mysterio, Zelina Vega, Santos Escobar, and Joaquin Wild. Pretty cool pack. Pretty cool pack. We did get this revealed to us almost a year ago maybe? I can't remember exactly. Maybe 8 to 10 months range. It may have even been a little longer than that or maybe even shortly before that but this is a very cool set that we got revealed to us. It is again Mattel Creations exclusive, so I'm not sure if Ringside Collectibles is going to get some of these box sets, but right now, Mattel Creations, it was put up for pre-order. I did grab two of those, so I do have one then on card. I'm going to keep that. I, I love the box sets, man. We've kind of been in this new era of Mattel. They've been back around there, getting back into the box set era, which is always something that, you know, we came to know with, you know, different companies over the years with Jax and things like this, so I'm really excited for this box set as we dive into the LWO. Very cool packaging, as all of their box sets are, as you guys can see. You do have from left to write all the members of the LWO, the LWO logo there, Viva La Raza, of course, WWE Elite logo, and then you have all of their names across the bottom, front viewing window, of course, and then you even get the signature colors in here with the green, white, and red, which I think is really toasty. I really don't even know. Very creative, very creative stuff going on here, but let's flip it on the back, and I don't really have a lot of room, so I'm going to do my best here, but you even get a nice LWO logo on top, and then on the back, you do get a shot of all of the members there, Rey Mysterio with the United States Championship, very cool mask he's rocking right there, what the hell, dude? The white gloves with the red or the white and pink and yellow mask looks sick as hell. Why don't we get that in figure five? That looks immaculate. Zelina Vega on the front. I do believe this is from Backlash 2023 is what the Zelina is based on. And I'm not sure if all these, uh, obviously they're not all bad based on that because the Rey Mysterio is not based on this. But a cool image on the back nonetheless. And you get a nice long bio read. And of course, if you want to read this, you can pause it right now. But that is a shot of the back of the package. It's a very long box, man. Very, very long. I mean, I would say two and a half feet long at least. Maybe two feet long. It's a very long box. Nonetheless, man, that is the packaging for this LWO 5 pack. Let's go ahead and crack all of them out of the packaging, find out what these guys are all about, and see if this Mattel Creations 5 pack Elite set was worth the wait. So here's our LWO 5 pack out of the packaging, and my god, I have some issues with this pack, but we're going to dive into all the details, man. We're going to dive into everything that we have here, break down all the lore. What we're going to do is look at the accessories, and I'll describe each figure's accessory. So we'll take a look at everything the pack comes with, and then we will split it up and take a look at each individual figure, going one by one through it, so you guys can see all the details of each figure, the articulation, all that stuff. And, you know, if it calls for it, we'll get some comparisons in there, but let's start off with the accessories you get with the pack, and then we'll get into the figures that come in this five pack Mattel Creations exclusive. So this is all the cloth goods that you get in the LWO Mattel Creations 5-Pack Elite Box and there are interchangeable hands that come in this set, but we won't get into that until after the cloth goods. I want to talk about the cloth goods. I really couldn't fit all the interchangeable hands in the frame, so we're just going to start off with this. But let's start off with the biggest piece of cloth, and that has got to be this massive flag that we have here, which is really awesome. Now, this is for Zelina Vega. Her whole entire gear was sort of geared towards Puerto Rico, you know, and it was this nice moment at Backlash 2023. The crowd was super over. It was a cool moment. It was a cool moment indeed and everything like that. What's really cool too is it does, ha it's, it's got these stiff plastic pieces in here where you can attach this little band around her arm, which we'll show in the photography later on, but you can put this over her arms. You slide her arm in there, you slide her arm into this side, and then she can put her arms out to the side and display the flag, which is pretty cool. It does have a nice cloth feel to it. It's got the little silver bedazzles on there, which also makes it shine, which is cool. It's cool. You know, I think it's a very nice accessory. kind of adds to the quality of the box set. I think it was a hundred bucks for this box set, which is a fair price, I'd say. You know, five elites, you get some cool accessories. Pretty solid. Everything considered, pretty solid. Now, outside of that, we do get a few different versions of an LWO shirt, and they are not all the same. They're actually all different in their own way, which is pretty cool. So, this is the one that comes on Cruz del Toro, and it does have the slight slit v-neck right there, and then it has the sleeveless shirt. You have the tear in the front, then it's sleeveless. It is Velcro, so it's a standard, you know, classic Mattel Elite shirt. Then it does have the LWO graphic on it. It also includes the Puerto Rico or Backlash 2023 inspired version, which does feature on Rey Mysterio, and it seems like it's a slightly smaller shirt. You could probably fit it on other guys, but it does seem like it may be a tad smaller than a regular t-shirt that you'd see from Mattel, but it also has Velcro in the back. We also get a version that comes on the Santos Escobar figure, which has the sleeves at a slight V angle, which is very cool because it's unique to the way he wore his shirt, and you get the V in the neck. So you get the V neck and the slightly broader base, which I could see you putting on a Rey Mysterio. You could put this on an Eddie Guerrero. You could put this on a few different guys. It is just like the others with the Velcro. And the last shirt we get is this sleeveless shirt. So it doesn't have the V cut and it's slightly shorter and it's just a standard tank top shirt, but it all features the same LWO logo and you get the Velcro on the back. So you do get four different shirts 
included in this pack for your LWO, and you could actually put this on some bonus members if you wanted to. Now, for Cruz Del Toro's accessories, you do get interchangeable fisted hands. The right hand does have the white hand tape, and then the left hand is a fist. And then he also comes with mic holding hands. So you get the right hand with the white tape with the white peg, and then the left blank hand. For Rey Mysterio's hands, you just get fisted hands here that do have the tattoos on there. However, they are standard elite hands. So you guys already know when you plug these in, his hands are going to be oversized, which we've talked about in the past. They need to give him either women sized hands or do something about Rey Mysterio's hands. He can't get mic holding hands. Actually, first microphone holding Rey Mysterio figure. But in all seriousness, these hands are too big. They do have the tattoos on them, but they're too big. They just don't look right when you plug them into the figure because his figure is smaller in stature to be accurate scale or at least closer to scale. And then for Zelina's hands, you do get the right hand that has the rose on there or the tattoo. And then she does have just regular mic holding or weapon wielding hands. No nail polish on there, which I doubt was accurate. And then you have these weird Mandy Rose posed hands, I'm pretty sure. But this is for her hands when she's holding out the flag, I'm pretty sure, for her entrance. But you also get the tattoo featured on there. I just think these hands look weird. It's like the fingers are too thick or something. And then for Santos Escobar, you do get a pair of fisted hands with the wedding band in there, which is nice. White hand tape and white pegs. And last but not least, you get the newly sculpted Kawhi Ricochet Johnny Gargano handshaking entrance style hands for your Santos Escobar figure. And then for the Joaquin Wild figure, it's very cool. These are newly sculpted hands that feature studs on them. So he gets these gloved hands that have these gold studs or spikes and they have black hand pegs. So I think these look really good. Really good in detail. They did a nice job on these. And not only do you get the mic holding hands, you also get the fisted hands. So you get fisted hands with the unique sculpt on there. So you have the gloves, you have the spikes. These are one of one sculpts, something we've never seen before. But they did a good job on these details. These look very, very nice. So starting out with Del Toro, at the top of the head sculpt, we do get a good likeness right here. I think the sculpts look good. You know, they, I think everything turned out pretty nice. You get the fade, nice haircut, handsome gentleman going on right there. You get the necklace on there, which I think is also unique. That looks to be a new sculpted necklace, which I think is cool. He does have the Sin Cara slash Andrade torso, which is nice. But they use the standard arms on here, which you'll see weird. Or later on with Joaquin Wild, they use the Johnny Gargano mold from Elite 105, which is weird, which we can compare. So if you compare the two, they are slightly different. You can see that they're just ever so slightly different. So that's I think that was a unique uh, option right there. Not that I necessarily hate one or the other. I just think it's, I don't know, it's weird that they changed it. Maybe his arms are a little longer. I'm not entirely sure. But on the right, you do get the, or the left arm here. You do get the bicep band, and then you get the tattoos going around. And he has the nice, I guess this is a bandana sculpt. This looks to be a new sculpt, though. I don't think this is a reused thing. I think this is brand new. So you have this kind of handkerchief or bandana sculpted right there that is removable. And then you do have a lot of unique things going on on the tights. Very toyetic tights going around. You got Del Toro on the back, which is a very clean and nice logo. I like the looks of these tights, though. Nice bright colors. No pinless legs, so you know he's going to be buttery smooth. And then he has the solid white boots. And this guy poses around very nice. He's very similar to the, the later Sin Cara figures, you know. Just, you know, just very poseable. He's on ball joints, so he's going to be able to do all the different things that you need him to do. I'd say I don't think you're going to have any issues there, but I did want to review these one by one without the, the accessories so you guys could see exactly what you're going to get here, but he looks pretty good. I don't know how tall he's supposed to be or anything, but I don't mind this formula. I think it does match up well. It's definitely a better formula than other guys in this pack, which we'll get into, but this is a pretty solid first figure. A good kick forward and everything, good double jointed knee, boots swivel, the whole nine, pretty solid start to this LWO5 pack. And then we get into the most popular superstar in this pack, which is going to be Rey Mysterio. Now, I really dig this new mask sculpt. It's got sort of the teeth showing through there. Very nice bright blue color. Reminds me of like the New Orleans Hornets or something back in the day. Or the Charlotte Hornets, whatever you want to say there. Very cool designs going on. I really, really dig this mask. And I bet it would look even more badass if you put this on some other Rey Mysterios. But I really like the likeness. The eye color is nice. The sculpt's nice. I think it looks just like Rey Mysterio under a mask, which I think is obviously brilliant because it's Rey Mysterio. You know what I mean? So that looks very good. I think they nailed this. Now this is the more classic Rey Mysterio torso. This is not the one that they used to use back in the day, but I think they could have gotten away with using this torso. So I think that this one's a bit lean for Rey Mysterio. I think that this one would work better for his later years. You know, he put on more muscle and such. So if he's going to be shirtless, I would recommend using this one instead of this one. And hell, even his arms and shoulders, he could be bigger, man. I mean, Rey Mysterio, while he's short, he's still stocky as hell. He's very built. He's he's a grown man, you know? And one thing I also noticed is they didn't put his WrestleMania bicep tattoo. He has a WrestleMania tattoo on his inner bicep, and they don't have that on there, so that's inaccurate, but not the biggest deal ever, but it's certainly worth talking about. They didn't include that. Hopefully, we'll get that moving forward, but he does have all his tattoos on there, which looks good. Uh, Rey Mysterio has some of the most underrated tattoos in all of WWE. He looks pretty good. Very solid tattoo work here, and then we get into this new crotch piece with legs, which is very cool. I do love how they feel in hand, and they are pinless, but they have a real nice feel to them in hand. The ju nice 
jogger natural wrinkles going on in the knee. Pretty much skinny jean look or joggers look here. Now they did give him John Cena shoes which do have a nice colorway going on. I don't know exactly if he wore custom dunks or custom Jordan 1s. I don't know what he wore that night. I'll have to take a look at some photos but the John Cena shoes don't really work for this figure and the reason I don't think it works for him is because the feet are too big. You can see the proportions here. The hands are too big. The shoes are too big but the articulation is pretty good here. I mean this is nothing new here. God look how big his hands look but he can do the splits here and you get a pretty good kick forward. Get the thigh cut. Get the double jointed knee which is not super tight. No shin cut. You do get ankle cut there but I just think that these shoes are too oversized. It looks like he's a, a clown kind of and you can just kind of see his shoes are very massive. I mean look at him right there. He looks like he's wearing size 15s or something but I really dig this figure. I'm having a lot of fun posing him around and doing certain things but you want to get into a Rey Mysterio figure comparison. We do have the basic that came with the Lucha Lowrider and look at the scale right here man. That's definitely off right there. Basic a lot shorter but we do have two sort of promo gear Rey Mysterios right here which I think work pretty good. I like the way these look up next to each other. I certainly like the Elite a lot better. I just think that the basic I guess is too big but and then look at his hand tat. Why is this hand tat here and this hand tat not here? Just very, I don't know, just some weird, just weird inconsistencies and things going on. Next up we do have the Zelina Vega figure which is probably one of the more ones that people are excited for in the set. I know a lot of people are. And one thing I'm noticing immediately is did she not have red in her hair? Am I tripping? Wasn't there supposed to be blue, white, and red? There's no red in here. I'm not getting any red here on the front in the bang so it's just white that goes all the way down. You have some blue underneath which is unique but there is no red bang in here and it is a brand new head sculpt or is it just a different hair sculpt? Hold on, let's compare the two here. That's, uh, I guess it's slightly different. I guess the sculpt is just a just a hair different right there but definitely different hair sculpts going on between the last Zelinas here and I do believe this is a brand new sculpted top so you're getting the, you know, the star with the blue and then you have some nice sculptures going on right there. I think they did a good job on this upper torso. You know, a lot of the times they reuse the same women's upper torsos and stuff over and over so I'm glad to report they are doing something new here and she does have her blue sleeve over here, white sleeve on this side. One thing I am noticing about this shoulder is it has that Elite 94 Stephanie McMahon problem where the shoulder will not go all the way up and it will not go all the way down. It's somewhere stuck in there which is very, you see how buttery smooth this one is? It goes all the way down. It can go all the way up. This one is not going to be that way Brad. When you stick this up it gets hung right there and then it won't go all the way down so that's very frustrating but you do get the double jointed pinless red stripe on the back. You do get the nice Puerto Rican stuff going on on the back as well and then on the front you get the same deal. And then she does have her leg sleeves here. Blue on this side, stripes on this side. Very toyetic figure indeed, but then when you go down here, you have a unique thing going on. You have these kick pads that are sculpted on the shins. I'm not sure if she wore padded legs, like leg sleeves or something, but the shoes are custom made. I do believe she was wearing some high top Air Forces, like some custom Air Force Ones high, and they look pretty good with all the, you know, the different stuff going on. You don't have any swooshes, but I like the details. Now, I think that these shoes would have worked a lot better on Rey Mysterio, right? If you do a comparison between the two, look at the difference right here. Now, these may be a little bit too small, I'm not sure, but the John Santa shoe mold was definitely not the call, I don't think. But one thing they did unique down here is they didn't give her any ankle cut. So when you're looking at this figure, we talked about the shoulder issue right there. The ab crunch, you don't really get a, much of an ab crunch. You do get some leaning back here. It does have that shoulder issue I was talking about. It just kind of stuck in limbo. She can do the splits, which is nice. She has a good kick forward. She has the upper thigh cut. She has the double jointed knee. But one thing I don't like is there's no ankle rotation. So the it's kind of you treat this lower shin as a traditional boot because you get the calf cut, but there is no, you know, ankle ankle articulation here, but you do get the going up and down, and you get an ankle rocker, but you don't get the, you know, just, uh, you don't get shin cut and shoe cut. It's just the shin cut, which I guess is better than anything else, I guess, but let's get into the Zelina Vega comparison, and this is the last Zelina Vega we saw, which is pretty good, but I would say this one definitely is better, even if it is a tad taller, I'd say, and yeah, it's definitely a little bit taller there. This is certainly the more superior figure. A lot more going on, a lot better figure. A lot better likeness. Even though I think this head sculpt kind of looks like, what was their names? You remember Sister Sister? That's what she kind of looks like. She kind of looks like, is it Tia? and T Is it Tia and Tima or Tina? I can't remember, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, man, getting into Santos. I like Santos Escobar a lot, but this figure, oh my goodness, that one of the problems that I have with this figure. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? And I'll, I'll get into it, man. You won't believe it. Something I don't think I've ever seen out of the packaging. But the head sculpt's very good. This is a brand new head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. It looks very nice. The sculpture's nice. The tattoos are nice. White bicep bands. You do have all the tattoos here. Great looking gear as well with all the colors. Now, are you ready for the abysmality that's about to take place right here, Lance? Look at this right here. Are you shishing me, man? 
man. Look at that right there. The torso piece completely chipped. And I pulled them out of the packaging and I try. I was like trying to ab crunch. I was like, why is that ab crunch so weird? Is it stuck? And then I tried to flex him back. And I was like, dude, he will not go back. So I took his shirt off and lo and behold, this plastic piece is preventing him from completely ab crunching backwards because it's hitting right there. So I am going to go ahead and s I need to snap this off so you can like ab crunch it, but it kind of hurts. It's a, it's a kind of a, it's kind of a difficult deal. It's not something you can just pull off. I'm going to have to have pliers or something, but maybe if I shove this, I don't really want to break it any more than I have to. I'm going to put the shirt on there, I guess, but that's very, very unfortunate. That, that really, uh, you know, I was looking forward to the Santos, so that kind of bums me out that that is going to be the case. I mean, I could put the shirt on it, but that shouldn't happen because now he can't articulate, but white wrist tape, all the different things, such an unfortunate thing that took place, but I do have the nice knee pads in here, thigh tape. He does have his standard gold boots in here with the fringe on top, which is nice, and these are the Elite 47 Gold Dust boots, so you can take these and acetone and put it on a Cody Rhodes if you wanted to. I don't know what I'm going to do because this figure's quite rare, I guess, now because it's in this Mattel Creations 5-pack, but the figure is pretty solid overall. Now, in terms of articulation, I can't show you the ab crunch, obviously, but it's a Daniel Bryan torso. It's another one where I don't think the Daniel Bryan torso was the right move. I think that they should have used, you know, the you know the, the Terry Funk slash Carmelo Hayes style torso or hell, even the Sin Cara or Andrade torsos would have worked better in my opinion. So for your comparison, here is our last Santos Escobar and you can see the formula is pretty much the same, but the head sculpt's much better. This one looks a bit derpy. This one's a hell of a lot better, but he's more jacked than this, man. Come on. He's not, he's not small like this. Nobody is small like this, man. There's like two or three people in the company. Everybody else is jacked, man. Everybody else has good musculature, and CM Punk is maybe the only guy that could rock this torso without it looking awful. So, yeah, definitely change the torso, but I like this upgrade a lot better, even though my torso is completely just F. And then last but not least in this pack, we do have Joaquin Wild, which has a good likeness. I actually like this head sculpt. I like the details in the hair, the nice sculpture over there. Got that good beard going on, which looks cool. They, they did a pretty good job here, I think, on his likeness as well. He does have the Daniel Bryan torso, which just looks just abysmal. He does have the Johnny Gargano arms, which we touched on earlier. You do have the belly button tat. You do have his tattoos going all around here. He's got the bicep band, got the glove hands in there. Pretty cool tattoos going on. On the back, I didn't even know he had these. I guess I just haven't been paying attention. But the tattoos look very good. And one thing I like is his tights. Look how clean the tights look. This paint apps is ridiculous. Hey, you have these like floral flame style deals going on with the wild and the yellows, pinks and blues. Got this kind of lion looking design on the front. Very cool gear, I think, overall. I know he's worn long tights and the short tights before. Per I would have preferred the long, I think, but it's not bad here for this figure. I'm sure we'll probably get another one down the line at some point. Knee pads look good, and then he does have the mosaic or Aztec-looking style boots with the white, which looks very good as well. Just a very cool figure. Very toyetic, I'd say. And then for his articulation, he's very similar to the rest of the figures in the pack. A lot of the figures in the pack are using sort of your similar formula here, as you guys can see. I mean, these guys are pretty much the exact same in every way except head sculpt and skin tone. And then when you bring Del Toro in here, I mean, he is his own different thing. So this one's kind of a Sin Cara, just just with a different head swap. And then, or an Andrade style figure, and then the other two are virtually the same. And I don't know, man, I like every figure in here in their own way, but this pack is definitely not perfect in any stretch. I think that, yeah, obviously, my, my torso deal there, I think some of the parts choices, designs choices, they could have went a different route. I just think that, I don't think all the details of this pack are completely morphed out, but at the same time, I do enjoy this set. Now, if you didn't pre-order this thing, I don't know what it goes for in the aftermarket. Maybe it'll be something that you can get your hands on quite easily, but it may be one of those things where it's actually quite difficult to get your hands on. I'm not entirely sure. But one thing I wanted to do is I did want to bring in Eddie Guerrero from the SmackDown 4-pack just to see what he'd look like if you wanted to put him in here. I feel like he's going to be way too tall, but I don't know. Let's see how he looks in here. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's certainly tall as hell, but I don't know. You could probably throw a LWO shirt on him and make that work or something like that if you guys wanted to do so. A lot of different things you could play around with, but at the end of the day, I think the set is very cool overall. I think that it's a very cool set to include instead of taking up main elite spots with these different characters and breaking them up. I think releasing them all together in one pack was very smart, right? Because you can get you can get Del Toro, you can get Walking Wild, you can get weird different versions of the other three characters that we haven't seen before, which I think is great. Instead of, you know, Elite 115, here's a Rey Mysterio in street attire. And then in Elite 116, here's Zelina Vega and Walking Wild. And then in Elite 117, here's Del Toro and Santos. You know what I mean? So I think this is a really genius thing. I think including an, a U.S. title would have been cool as well. Maybe some different accessories like a chain or something like that on a couple other figures. But you do get quite a few LWO shirts. You're getting a lot of fun going on right here. So I think that any box set for me is a W. I think that any box set 
that they decide to give us is amazing. I love the new upcoming Evolution one. I love the Rock Legacy pack. I like the Samoan Dynasty pack that we're getting. The SmackDown pack was amazing. So we're continuing to get these box sets. We're going to continue to get box sets. And I'm excited for them, man. I think they're great. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite 5 pack box set of the LWO right here, man. But if you guys want to grab this again, it's Mattel Creations exclusive. Don't think there's any in stock. It went in for pre-order and then they just were made to order. So I... I think they were made to order. I'm not entirely. I think they were made to order like the CM Punk. So I'm not entirely sure. Speaking of which, hopefully that CM Punk will be shipping relatively soon, and we can you know get that review in there as that drops. But that is pretty much going to wrap the review, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this pack down below. Feel like I've been waiting forever on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. But a huge shout out to the Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys, of course, for everything that you guys do. But at the end of the day, that is going to wrap the review, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts again down in the comment section below. Maybe we can use this Rey Mysterio and kind of make like some different gears going on. I'm going to try to fix up that Rey Mysterio and kind of make our own way there. And maybe we can fix him up. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.